Hi, and welcome to another episode of She Bike. Today is all about racks. Stay tuned right after this. So last year, when I bought my e-bike, I uh, had to upgrade my rack. I found this Kuat rack, uh, the uh, NV 2.0, and it holds two e-bikes, uh, and it also has uh, applications to hold the fat bike. So we bought this last year, it's been an awesome rack, but the difficulty is getting the bike up on the rack. So you can see with the rack deployed, it's quite a large distance to lift your bike up and onto the first rack and then make it to the back of the rack. So Kuat has a little ramp that you can install and we're going to do that today. So what's included? You get the ramp which is adjustable, the holders for the ramp, a security um, bolt remover, and I've added the pliers because I've heard it's quite hard to take off. But what essentially we are going to do is we're going to remove those bolts in there and take that end cap off and slide the rack holder on. So once again, you can use pliers or something else to get a little bit more leverage. And then you're, once again, you're going to loosen off these bolts. They're long. And then again, you're gonna pull this whole lock mechanism out. And once again, you're gonna use the uh, rack mount, or the ramp mount, I should say, and make sure the little prongs are up. Thread that through. Thread these into the correct holes. Push your cap all the way back in. And reinstall your bolts. Okay, so before you put your bike on, make sure your rack is ready. You're gonna wanna release your rear wheel strap I like to just tuck it in there. So then you're going to open up this tire cage and extend it all the way out so it's ready for the bike. So you're going to take the rack and set it on that mount at about a 20 degree angle and then tilt it down. So because we have a pretty steep angle here, we can actually loosen off these thumb screws on either side of the ramp. slide the ramp out further so that the angle is less steep and easier to move your bike up. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your bike in walk mode. All right, so to do your walk is there's a little button right here, right there. You're going to press that for a few seconds. And when you take your hand off, you're going to see the buttons flash up. You're going to press this up arrow button and your bike is going to go ahead and walk. So let's go ahead and try that again. See the buttons. And then as soon as you press that, your bike is going to go. If you release the button, the bike stops. Or if you press your brake, the bike will stop as well. And let it propel itself up on the rack. Once your front tire is in, make sure that this rack is pressed down as close as you can to where the tire meets the fork. And then you're going to install the rear ratchet strap. Make sure it's down nice and tight.
lift up your ramp and remove it. Good to go. To remove your bike, you just do the opposite. Remove the rear ratchet strap first. Tuck it away out of your way. Hold on to the seat of your bike. No need to use the lock on this one. You can just use your rear brake to let the bike go slowly down the ramp. Super easy. Now you can take your bike anywhere and you don't have to ask your friends to help you lift your 50 pound bike on your rack. Thanks for watching another episode of She Bike. If you're interested in an e-bike rack, I highly recommend the Kuvat. Uh, NV 2.0 and the ramp that goes with it. It'll help you get your bikes up there and take you wherever you want to go on explore new trails. Until next time, please like and subscribe and live to ride another day.